Letters, 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 letters for the 30th of March, 2019. Uh, Christine, we love you, Dave. Maybe even crotchy, too. Uh, Love-hate relationship with the crotch. <laughs> uh, thanks, Christine. Timothy Painter does a shout out to uh, Angela M. Sorry about the loss of the cat. Always a difficult moment for us. Our pets are often our best friend, the best friends we'll, we'll ever have. Right. Well, that's very true, you know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Train Beantown writes, you were working as a waitress in Crotchy's Catfish Bar when I met you. I picked you out, I shook you up and turned you around, turned you into something new. Now five years later, you're on the B-O-Y-T at your feet. You've got the B-O-Y-T at your feet. Success has been so easy for you. Don't. Don't you want, Dave? You know you can't, he can't believe it when you say that he's a devil. And then you repeat the chorus. No, don't you want, Dave? You know that he can't believe it when you say that he's a devil. Da -da -da. Yeah, the human league, right. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Don't you want me, baby? Don't you want Dave and Crotchy? Don't you? Roseanne writes, I had a male cat for 18 years. I got him on my first job at the county fairgrounds. He was a precious, he was a precious. Name was Levi. He loved the outdoors even after being fixed. He never started a fight. He would sit back and let the other cats eat first. I do sure, mi I sure do miss him. He was a real gentleman too. Like your followers, Camo Dave. Very polite and caring. Seriously, Camo Dave has some cool followers. Yes, people tend to overlook that. You know, there are some of my followers, <laughs> some of my subscribers that are a little rowdy and crazy, but you often overlook the 98% of them that are nice and kind and fair. Yeah, the 2%, the everybody focuses on that 2% of the crazy doxing weirdos, but the 98% of good, fair, honest, constructive criticism people are getting ignored often and we got to stand up for my subscribers you know you got to stand up for my commenters the vast majority of you are wonderful kind people kc ad the ADV writes, bottom line, people that have and continue to make poor life choices should not own animals. Well, how do you enforce a rule like that? You know, I guess you'd have to have some sort of a, can you have a pet license? You'd have to apply for that, right? I don't know if I want to go there. I don't know if I want to go there. No. Oh, well. <laughs> the germ says he's thinking about buying a Mercury. His Saturn has fallen apart. Yeah, that's right. The Mercury. If we're going to go to planets, the Saturn, the Mercury, right? I, are there, there's no Neptune or Venus as a car, right? Luna? No? I don't know. Yeah, that's right, the Mercury. Uh, yeah! Mike Purvis writes, Camo Dave, I heard you like mentioning Coast to Coast. Yeah, the show with George Nori that's on overnights. Uh, you should tune into a couple of YouTube people who do similar shows that have some interesting topics with the Nori show. Uh, we enjoy watching Marf Fugel TV and Twisted News. They even have occasional drama for juicy stuff to report on. Oh, yeah. Beauregard Rippy. Pippi Peterson installed solar on her Riorda herself. That's right. She didn't need the help of Harvey Prepper Wayne. She could do it herself. That that's tell that's telling pneumatic fanatic right. MJC forty two seven four two seven writes. So sorry to hear of Drezzy. My heart goes out to Angela. I was lucky enough to have been a beloved kitty to have a beloved kitty from my young life into my 30s. She was almost 23 when I lost her and only started to go down the last eight months of her life. It was so extremely hard. They are family. I hope Eric can be supportive and not use her loss for his channel since he made it very clear she is not a part of it. Well, she is a part of his channel, okay? I, I think that he said that, but, you know, as far as buying the RV and that kind of stuff, he's very firm in saying, no, it's his decision. I, I don't know. But, I, I'm you know, what the heck? I, I, you know, I, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. That's that's how I defer to everything. I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> Supergoer1 says, Dave, be well, my friend. Anxious to meet you when you come to Arizona. What does that mean? Anxious to meet me? <laughs> All right. Ooh. Anxious? Hello? 
Kay Lee writes, Hi, Dave, I have a request. Would you please do Angela and Drezzy a kindness out of respect by deleting any of the comments that are mean and disrespectful of Angela and Drezzy? Thank you, much, thank you, dear, much obliged. Kay Lee, I have done that. I mean, in fact, I'm going through the comments right now. I've already deleted five or six nasty ones. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, I'm trying to keep track of them all. You know, YouTube doesn't make it easy to do that, but uh, I'm definitely doing that in this case. James Johnson writes, uh, No business venture lasts forever, especially those on YouTube. Those e-begging mobile hobos will eventually have to get real jobs and move back into apartments because they won't be able to afford living that way. I think we're seeing a number of uh, nomads uh, facing that dilemma right now okay there are a few that are going to you know continue building out their channels and may end up becoming you know allowing youtube to become a jobby boo for them but the vast majority of people are going to find out that you know youtube is good in the sense that it can give you a couple extra bucks now and then to help you out but it's not a job and i think most youtubers many of the nomads are finding that out that you know they gotta have something else coming in whether it's a job or whether it's some sort of retirement pension or some sort of disability or whatever you know but living on YouTube for most people is almost impossible uh, Chad Braun writes I fear this was going to happen sooner or later I mean 17 years is a long life for a cat and if anybody who watches Angela's videos uh, should know that uh, Dresden had some health issues back when she was in Mexico and the move from her van to Eric's new RV probably didn't help much either but anyway I really feel bad for Angela I know it feels I know how it feels to lose a pet that's been in your life that long. R.I.P. Dresden. P.S. Thanks for passing this news along, Dave, since I don't happen to have Instagram. Yeah, Instagram is pretty good if you like to follow some uh, some nomads on YouTube. Uh, quite a few of them. And the Explorers have uh, Instagram channels. I have an Instagram channel, too. I don't post that much on it, maybe two or three times a week. But, uh, yeah, Instagram.com slash Cam O. Dave. All right, folks, that ought to do it for today, Saturday, uh, March the 30th, 2019. Uh, letters, letters, letters. That's a wrap. Hey, thanks for watching. Vlog Under.